I have a variety of Trump updates for you. Donald Trump is already suing his truth social partners. Yes, already suing them. So that's going along as expected. He's already violated the strengthened gag order in New York. And of course, someone was dumb enough to let this man give a speech today, and it went bad. Trump was asked, very simply, does he support a strict abortion ban like what is going into effect in Florida in about 30 days, and then will be in effect for the next six months before the election. Now, Republicans are worried this is going to devastate Republican strongholds in Florida and give Democrats quite a bit of control in the state. Trump's response is, they'll make a statement on it next week. Now, remember when Trump was always, you know, so pro-life, he's definitely, now he's, he's not even wanting to comment on it. Is he going to change direction because the polling is that scary? Or is he just going to keep saying next week, next week, next week, and then a statement never materialize? He's done that with other things. He told a story uh, during the speech today about, you know, how he spoke with the family of Ruby Garcia. This never happened. Trump lied. The family has already called him out for just lying. He just made it up. Trump said he will deport people who have, quote, illegal aliens invading your home. So I guess if you're a victim of crime, you now get deported. Okay, cool. Trump bragged about never cutting Social Security or Medicare while he was president. That's true. He tried. He tried a lot. Trump budgets tried to cut it repeatedly. And Democrats wouldn't let him. He is bragging that Democrats stopped him. That's all he's got at this point. They stopped me. I'm great. Trump says that uh, suburban housewives like him. And they, they don't. Not by looking at polling data, they don't. They basically cost him 2020. And now Republicans are even more anti-women than 2020. So... Good luck. And, uh, oh, a side note that's Trump-related. Some Republicans want to change the name of one of the worst rated airports in the entire world. And they want to rename it to Donald J. Trump International Airport. And yeah, it's Trump-supporting Republicans wanting to do that. That's hilarious. 